Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about systems of two equations, and we're going to solve each system by substitution. So, if I was given this system of equations, y equals negative 5, and 5x plus 4y equals a negative 20. Well, what I like about this already is I already have a variable by itself. y is equal to negative 5. So it makes it pretty easy to plug that 5 in for the second y right here, right? Or the second equation is y. So I'm going to plug this little 5 in for that y. So we have 5x plus 4 times a negative 5 equals a negative 20. Now I'm just trying to get x by itself. 5 times negative 5 is a positive, or negative 20. 5x plus a negative 20 equals a negative 20. I'm going to add a 20 to both sides leaving me with 5x equals negative 20 plus 20, 0. So we have 0 right there. So I have 5x equals 0, divide both sides by 5. And I have x equals 0 divided by 5, which is 0, right? So our x value here is just 0. Now we need to find the y value. Well, this one's actually pretty good, if you can see it. We already were given that y is equal to negative 5, and so that's what it is. But let's go play it into the second equation just to be sure. Okay, so my second equation, 5x plus 4y equals negative 20. Let's plug that 0 in for x. 5 times 0 plus 4y equals negative 20. 5 times 0 is 0. So we have 4y equals negative 20. Divide both sides by 4, and y equals a negative 5, right? Negative 20 divided by 4 is a negative 5. So we could have just grabbed it from the beginning, the first equation, like I said. But it's all good if you need to substitute it back in to be double short. So we can write this as a coordinate point, 0, comma, negative 5, and that would be our final answer. So let's recap. Our two equations that were given were y equals negative 5 and 5x plus 4y equals negative 20. One of them already had a variable isolated, the first one, so I plugged negative 5 into the y for the second one. Simplify. 4 times negative 5 was negative 20. Add 20 to both sides, give me 0 on the right. Divide both sides by 5, x is still 0. At that point, I can just look at the beginning and said y was negative 5, but I plugged it into the second equation. Simplify, uh, 0 for x eliminates the 5 times 0. Uh, divide both sides by 4, and count y by itself to be that negative 5. Quick way to kind of double check there. We wrote this as a coordinate point for our final answer, which is 0, negative 